Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kristen and today I'm going to be sharing with you my designer tips on how to combine interior design styles for a more cohesive looking home. If you are living with your partner or roommates and you're struggling to find a design style that's going to work for everybody, this video is definitely for you. So if you enjoy watching and find this video helpful, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and hit that like button and let's go ahead and jump right into it. I'm Kristen, interior designer and home decor expert. I'm sharing all of my designer tips and tricks with you to help transform your house into the home of your dreams through DIY projects, affordable home decor, styling tips, and home organization. If I can do it, you can too. Let's make our homes look and feel their best. absolute first thing you should do before even getting started with any kind of decorating, furnishing, or even shopping for new pieces in your home is identify your design style and identify your partner's design style. If you can clearly define what you like in this style, what are your non-negotiables, what are the fabrics and textures and color palettes that you like about that style, it is so much easier to really get a clear idea of how you can work together with the design styles that you really like. I think it makes it very difficult if you and your partner don't know what the design style you're looking for is. You end up reaching for different things and when you bring them together, they just won't work. If you have no idea what your design style is, I highly recommend you guys check out the video I made that's all about finding your design style. I'll have it linked down below in the description box, but it goes over all the different design styles so that you can really find which one suits you. One thing to note is a lot of design styles actually work very well together, complement each other very nicely. They don't fight against each other. So sometimes it's a good thing if you and your partner love different styles. For example, I think the traditional style and the modern style work amazing together. I think the juxtaposition between the two styles complements each other really nicely. It helps each piece stand out in its own way and it can actually work. So if one really loves a traditional home and the other really loves a modern home, trust me, you can make it work. Those two styles complement each other very nicely. An easy way to mix modern and traditional in your home is through artwork. You can do very modern abstract artwork inside a more traditional vintage looking frame and that will give off an instant traditional and modern looking style all at once. The boho and mid-century modern style really complement each other as well and they definitely go kind of hand in hand there. If you love that boho design, the wicker baskets and plants and your partner likes mid-century modern, mid-century modern is really highlighted a lot in furniture. So you can go all in with mid-century modern furniture and decorate in a boho style and that would work together perfectly. Now, if you wanna make decorating and combining those design styles even easier, I would say land on a common color palette. If you can agree on a color palette, but you don't agree on your matching styles, that will work perfectly. It's so much easier to make a cohesive looking home when things are just similar in color. If your agreed upon color palette is very neutral, kind of creamy, white, black, and something orange comes into the house, of course, it's gonna throw it all off. So if you can agree on a color palette, an accent color, everything that comes into the home needs to follow that and it will work seamlessly. I think it's one of the best ways to really balance a space and make it look cohesive no matter what style you go with. Now, another thing that kind of works hand in hand with the color palette is the wood tone palette you're using around your home. Are you going with cool tone woods or warm tone woods? No matter what design styles you're mixing together, if you can agree on the wood tones you're bringing into your home, it's going to make a cohesive, beautiful space no matter what. So if you really love light woods and your partner really loves dark woods, you can definitely do that. Both cool tone woods and warm tone woods have light shades and dark shades. So there's always that variety in there that you can mix together. But I do think it's a little bit more difficult to mix those warm tone woods with cool tone woods. I think that's when you'll see that extreme clash and it's going to make decorating it that much harder. I think the easiest way to kind of introduce a new style into your home and kind of seamlessly blend it into the space is through small decor. If you create groups of three with your decor, 
and you're thinking about height and scale and texture and introducing a new shape, it will complement each other no matter what style the piece is. Mix design styles when it comes to those little pieces like vases and lamps and candle holders and little sculptural pieces. As long as the little items in the grouping stands out in their own way, it will complement each other nicely. I usually go for something that has some height and scale to it, something that has a little bit lower of a shape and something that has a little bit of texture. Now when decorating Decorating and bringing these two design styles together, always remember the 80-20 rule. And that's doing 80% one style and 20% the other. Do majority of the furniture one style and maybe decorate with the other style, you'll get a very balanced, beautiful mix. You don't want the two design styles to be competing against each other. You want them to complement each other and just seamlessly work together. I really love adding that 20% in with a coffee table, side tables, artwork, all of those accenting pieces are a great opportunity to throw in a new style. If you're doing your living room and you want all traditional furniture, that is totally fine and you can throw in that modern coffee table, put up modern artwork, maybe some modern lamps, and it will create such a beautiful balance that really looks very well designed. So don't get caught up on things matching and being perfect together. Sometimes you need that opposite effect to really drive the design. Now, another tip would be go a little bit more neutral with your furniture. Sometimes mixing design styles is all about picking the most neutral piece of furniture and bringing in your design style through decor and accent pieces. If you're furnishing your space and you stick with something a little bit more neutral as your main piece, like your sectional or sofa, you can accent that really nicely with more stylized accent chairs. As long as you have that neutral base, you can continuously change up the style and it won't look imbalanced. So maybe skip on the Chesterfield sofa, maybe skip on the round curved sofa and pick something a little bit more standard and neutral. And trust me, that piece will make mixing two design styles together that much easier. All right, now I really love this tip because this is how I think about design, whether I'm trying to mix design styles or not. When you're tackling a room or even your entire house, think in vignettes. Think in small moments around your home that you wanna create instead of getting overwhelmed by the big picture. Sometimes you just don't even know where to start, but if you can have one little image of what you imagine in one little corner of your home or on one wall, then you can kind of build off of that. And of course, this always works well with combining design styles. So if you can agree on just focusing on one little space like your entryway and creating a little console table moment there to put your keys down and style, maybe have a lamp, then you can really focus on those pieces and not get overwhelmed by the entire house. Think about creating these moments in corners of your home, on coffee tables, your dining room table, maybe even your dresser. There's always a little moment to be had around your home and you can mix your design styles really nicely in those small moments. Now, if you wanna create that cohesive, beautiful looking home with two different design styles, combine your design styles for all of those public spaces, like your kitchen, dining room, living room, entryway, your powder room, even your family room. But it is okay to go in your own direction in little spaces around your home that you might claim as yours. Maybe that's your laundry room, your basement, or even your home office. It's okay to create a space around your home that suits you and makes you the happiest. As long as everyone has a little corner, a little room of their home that they can call their own and decorate in fully their own style, I think that pleases everybody. So have those agreed upon public spaces, come together and decorate those with compromise, but also have your own little space of your home that you can call your own. All right, so that's it for my designer tips and tricks on how to combine interior design styles for a more cohesive looking home. Let me know down below in the comments which one of these tips did you find most helpful and which one do you have to start implementing into your home. If you're struggling mixing design styles in your home, let me know down below in the comments which design styles are you trying to put together and hopefully I can help you guys out in the comments. Anyways, if you enjoyed watching and found this video helpful, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and hit that like button and make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel so you don't miss the upcoming videos. Click that red subscribe button down below and make sure you guys have my notifications turned all the way on so you're first to see the next video. Love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.